about my mental health often, like every day, every day, every moment. If not daily, then at least a few times a week. just something that I think about all the time because it affects basically everything I do and everything I say. I feel like I would like want to say that I think about them an equal amount but I probably think about my physical health a bit more than my mental health. It does definitely affect my physical health in a lot of ways. For example, I suffer from depression and with my depression, if I'm sad, I'll lose my appetite. Or... So some stereotypes about people with mental illness are that they're lazy, oversensitive, and need to be coddled. Um, growing up um, around my family, they never really understood too much about why somebody should see a psychiatrist. You always see get over it, it's not a big deal, um, there's things that you can do to prevent it, like it's not an actual problem you're going to, through. Which is far from true, um, and it affects how I talk to others about my mental illness because it prevents me from asking for help when I need it or when I need to do some type of self-care. It prevents me from having the courage to ask for that just out of fear of those stigmas and stereotypes. Like for example, addiction, like a very serious mental health issue where like people like literally can go through physical withdrawals and to the point where they can even die and still hide and saying like, oh, they're not actually sick, they're just drug addicts, they're just losers, you know? I've also met a lot of people who just say, you're sad, get over it. And that makes me just not want to talk about it at all. Eat ice cream sometimes, TV, downtime. Uh, I personally really like going to the beach. to like addressing like my personal mental health I really try to always be really open and honest with the people I care about the most in my life about how I'm feeling so I can make sure that I don't let myself go down any slippery slopes. It's really important that people don't feel like I have to be ashamed or embarrassed or uncomfortable talking about the mental illness or mental struggles that they're dealing with in their lives because I think that once we start having an open dialogue about it and it's not that's what's really going to kill the stigmas and that's really what's going to make a difference.